Hello, and welcome to another Herrick District Library video. Today, we're going to be discussing sending your ebooks to your Kindle Paperwhite device. When you first sign into Libby, it does ask you over here if you'd like to set your preference to Kindle. You can set that now, or we can set it later. I'm going to work on setting it later. So first, I'm going to find a book to check out. So I'm going to look for an author I enjoy and see what there is available. Right here, I see that there is a book. You can tell it's a book because there aren't any little earbuds and a time below it. Let me see if I can find one to show you. Like this here. This is that same book, but it has those tiny little earbuds and a time underneath. That means it's an audiobook, and that cannot go to a Kindle Paperwhite. We can only do eBooks on the Kindle Paperwhite. So I'm going to go ahead and hit borrow on this item. It's reminding me of my limits. Right now I'm checking it out for 21 days, which is what I recommend because again, you can always return a book early, but you can't always renew a book and keep it longer. So I'm going to hit borrow. And I'm going to go to my shelf to look at this book. So oh, it right away is asking me, how would I like to read this ebook? So I'm going to tap read with, and there's two options. We can do a Kindle or we can do Libby. For anyone reading this on a smartphone or tablet, I usually recommend Libby, but if you would like to read it on your Kindle Paperwhite, you have to choose the Kindle option. So I'm going to tap on Kindle, and then it should load up Amazon. So you will need to log in to your Amazon account so that Amazon knows you would like to read this book. So you will log in with your email or phone number, depending on how you set up your account, and then your password. And you can check this keep me signed in option. That way you won't have to do this every time you want to send a book to your Kindle. And then tap sign in. This will bring you to an Amazon page describing the, the book that we just checked out. And then over here on the side, there is a yellow Get the Library Book button. But before we press that, we want to look at what it's delivering to. So if you have more than one device signed into your Amazon account, you need to make sure you're sending it to the correct one. If you're sending it to your Paperwhite, and if you and a partner have a paper white, make sure you're sending it to the correct paper white. Otherwise, it can be a little bit of a pain to find back. So make sure that you choose the correct device to send it to, and then choose Get Library Book. You will get a notification that that has gone through. And now the next time that your Kindle paper white is connected to the internet, so if you're home, it's probably connected. And the next time it syncs, this book will pop up for reading. To sync it, you can go to the menu and choose the button that looks like two arrows going in a circle. That will tell your paper white to check for more options. And it should show up on your shelf on that main home page at the top on that from your library shelf. It should show up as the first option the next time you sync. If you have any questions or problems though, you can always stop into the library and we will help you get them sorted out. Hopefully this was helpful and we'll see you in the next video.